Okay, let's talk about different ways to get help when you're developing in the various tools. Uh, there's online documentation, uh, there's the installed documentation, contact sensitive help, and even some uh, really cool keyword uh, keyboard shortcuts to get you access to what you need quickly. So I just want to go now through into Eclipse uh, uh, and in a browser and just show you some quick ways to access that documentation. Okay, as uh, always, Android Developer Tools folder, subfolder Eclipse, and I'm going to start Eclipse. And what we'll do actually, once that's started, we'll actually go to the uh, browser. Uh, the first thing I want to do is just show you the uh, the online uh, documentation. So we'll go to our browser, developer.android.com. This is a good way to find, uh, well, a couple of things. Firstly, if you go to the develop uh, tab, there's some good training guides. So you're looking for information to do specific things, but you probably won't need to do that because that's what I'm teaching you. Uh, but it's there nevertheless. There's API guides if you want to be looking up bits and pieces and uh, how to do certain things. But the the real one that I want you to look at uh, first is the reference. So you can see the full uh, URL is developer.android.com forward slash reference forward slash packages.html. This is the Java doc for the Android uh, software development kit. So what that means is it's the programming documentation that you need. So if you brand new to Java, this is probably going to be a little bit over your head, but if you've got some Java experience, uh, and once you get that experience, you'll find you'll be referring to this. It's really just a way to find out how to access, you know, certain levels of functionality within the Android Software Developer Kit. So very briefly, the API levels there, you remember we've talked about that in previous videos. This is the API level. You can go back and look at these things and see uh, what they look like for that particular version. Very handy, and by default, it defaults to the latest one. So we could just click on something. We could scroll down and just click on, say, Android Bluetooth. All the information about Bluetooth, the types of accesses, the classes, and so forth, you know, interfaces, everything we need, and you can just click into those and go further. So it's, once you do you know, get up to speed a bit more, and we've got a, you've got a few of the apps uh, under your belt, this will start making a lot of sense, and it's just a great way to get access to the documentation. And um, for example, another way of accessing it is you can click on here into the top right hand corner. We could just type in something like say Bluetooth. And as I'm typing, you see that's coming up automatically. Bluetooth, and I can come down here and let's just say I was looking for a uh, Bluetooth manager, click. So a very quick way to uh, get access to the documentation if you're online. So that's one way of doing it. But uh, another way is within Eclipse itself. Now, if you remember, or you followed along when we set up our software, our uh, software development kits, we went into the Android SDK Manager, and I'll just go into there again, and we downloaded the documentation. Now, the good news is, is if you've done that, you can access all that documentation on your computer. So you can see here, documentation for Android SDK is installed. So if it is installed, that's great. What that means you can do is uh, navigate to your uh, file structure. Then we're going to go back to the root level. We're going to go into our Android developer tools. We're going to go into our software development kit subfolder and we're going to go into docs. And this is all the documentation that uh, we downloaded. So we can just double click index.html and that will literally load up the documentation. So the good thing about that is it's offline documentation. Now you may find you get a few little glitches as we go in there. There might be a few, sometimes you'll see an image miss missing or you know something of that nature. That doesn't really sort of alter the fact that all the documentation is there. So we can do the same thing, we can go to reference. We can do a search over here. Bluetooth, click on spell. And we can go down to manager like we did last time. As you can see by the URL, it's all on your computer this time. So that's the great thing about it is it's a lot faster to access that uh, documentation. So just going back to the SDK manager, you just want to check that your documentation for Android SDK is installed. So this is the documentation. You, can, you would just click that to the left of it if it wasn't installed. Uh, here, here it's telling us that it is installed, but if it wasn't, you just click on that, click on install, or that would put it onto your uh, hard drive, which makes it nice and simple. All right, let's get out of Android SDK Manager. Go back to Eclipse. The other thing uh, you can do is you can click on a class, like we can scroll down and let's just say menu item for argument's sake. 
you can just either you can either double click it to select the whole thing or you can just move your mouse and select it all or you can just click in there somewhere and once you do that if you then go up to the help menu and click on dynamic help that opens up another window here then you can click on java doc for android.view.menu item so it's recognized that we've got that selected and that's a quick way for us to access it that way and that's uh, accessing the same documentation now obviously i can't see that too well so i'll make it so it's a little bit wider but you can see that is the menu item there so another good way of doing it i'll close it down uh, also there's some other great uh, things you can do in terms of looking up things and we're going to show you an example the best way to do that is to create just like a test class and show you how it works so i'm going to go over here to org.example.myfirstapp click on uh, go into new and click on class i'm going to type in my first class as the name and i'm going to leave everything else uh, as a default and click on finish so we've created a test class called my first class so if i go back to my activity and I come up into here and i just type private my first class first class press enter you can see what's happened there automatically it's uh, it came up with an error initially but when i pressed enter it then proceeded to work but we have got a little bit of a warning so we can click on that the value is not used well that's fine we know that it's not used but you can see it it's, it accepted it and uh, put it into the package which is good because the great thing we can do now is we can hold down con uh, command if you're on a mac or control if you're on a pc and if you click on that that navigates to that package automatically so you can see that uh, once you get going and you've got some of your own code it's a very quick uh, a very quick way to find the documentation or to go to that particular piece of in this case class is just to click it so again we can go back to the class and click it now this does work for some of the java code we can click on menu item and you will get uh, you know the interface for that particular class so it gives you some of the details and the methods and so forth that are involved but it does say that the source code is not there and uh, if you want to see the java source code you can download all of that i suggest it's probably a little bit overwhelming but the fact that this is coming up with source not found the reason that uh, is coming up is because we didn't load it so i'm going to go back into the android software developer kit manager and just show you that area if by chance you wanted to do that because sometimes you can learn a lot by looking at the uh, the source code for java or for android in this case but do keep in mind it's very complex it's written by people with years of experience and some of it could be over your head but with that said um, you could click on sources for android sdk if you wanted that click on install and then uh, i'll close this down because i'm not going to do it now but then when you went to click on a class like i did here you'd actually get the source code much much as you got the source code when i clicked on my first class you would see how that particular class was developed in java so that's another good way of uh i'll close that uh navigating and that so that's the command button if you're on a mac or the control button if you're on a pc but it's not restricted to java code and this is something that gets really interesting and it's a great way for you to start to figure some of this stuff out you can also be in an xml file so let's just say we're in the uh, layout file and i'm going to go into my activity main double click it and open it and i'm in the activity uh, main xml so click that if uh, you've got a graphical interface now if you're looking at this string here and you go uh, what's this string hello world the same rules apply you can hold down the command key and you can see how it's changed to a link straight away and if i click on that you can see what eclipse has done it's opened up the strings.xml file so this is a great way for you to figure out how things are sort of related to each other by clicking them so again it's command command if you're on a mac or control if you're on a pc and you can do that to lots of files we're going to the android manifest file for argument's sake and again we can be in the uh, manifest file and we can click on here android name equals dot main activity well that's making a reference to the java file so we can hold down the command button or again it would be the the, com the control button on a pc click on it and it opens up the class see it's opened up the java class again i'll just close down some of these because they're starting to take up too much space But again pretty exciting and uh you know it's one of those things that uh you can really learn a lot from by just doing some basic navigation um and clicking on a few things and just sort of following it so again if you get stuck 
you know, where's this IC launcher? Click on it and look, it's showing you automatically which one do you want? Because if you recall in a previous video, we talked about the fact that there's different ones for different sizes and different, uh, different resolution devices. So we could click on and say, oh, I want this second one. It opens up the image for you. So what I'm suggesting you do is spend a bit of time going through clicking on things and uh, holding down again command if you're on a Mac or control if you're on a PC and just checking some of these things out and seeing what they look like you can learn a lot from clicking and uh, it's a great way to sort of start getting an idea of how things map back to each other all right so that's just a quick guide to help and navigating and learning a few of the basic things let's move on to the next video